All right, everybody. This is Ethan here, um, and I'm here in a different kind of video usually than my montage of clips or whatever, just funny stuff. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Street Fighter Six's JP, or more or less an overview. I have been playing this character, and I've been really interested in him, and I just thought it would be really helpful if during my learning process i would use what i learn and try to implement it in a way where i could help other people that maybe are, are interested in him or just need that little bit of push to figure out that they want to play him so first we're going to talk about the system mechanics so this is drive parry it is done with medium punch and medium kick a parry more or less will block any incoming damage uh, as well as chip. There is a similar version to it where it's frame perfect and it's called a perfect parry. Another mechanic that was introduced is called drive rush where if you hold parry into a dash you will do basically a power dash. Drive rush uniquely enough can be acted out of normals if you do dash right after and it can be used to extend combos for more damage. Another mechanic introduced is drive impact. To do drive impact, it's heavy kick and heavy punch, and it also has two its armor. Now, ways that you can beat drive rush is by grabbing them out of it in the early active frames, or you can react to it and get a full punish. Now, like in every Street Fighter game, there is a super bar where you can do a level 1 super, a level 2 super, and a level 3. Now, your drive gauge can get low very fast by doing a drive rush after a normal which is three bars an ex move which is two bars half a bar by doing drive parry and then if you do drive parry into drive rush it is a, a bar so be very cautious with how you use your meter if your opponent is out of drive gauge in the corner and you hit them with a drive impact you can get a stun into a full combo now what you came to see the jp stuff first we're going to talk about his normals we're going to talk about his Stand light punch, which is a six frame normal, very far, a decent range for a light normal. It's very fast, and I'm trying to show you can whip punish with it. I wouldn't recommend, but it's a very fast button. It's minus two on block, and it can uh, confirm into itself very easily, as well as it can confirm into his crouch light punch. So it can, um, it's a good starter for his combos. This is where we bring in medium punch. It is a 12 frame normal with pretty absurd range. It can reach very far. It's a good poke button. Uh, it sadly cannot special cancel into anything. And it can't link into anything on normal or counter hit. But it is fairly a good button to anticipate any buttons. It can stuff buttons really well as well as um it's just a really good poke to use in neutral there's never really much of a risk to doing it except uh how long the startup is now we're going to talk about his GUC uh button his stand heavy punch it is a 12 frame normal that is uh minus three on hit and with really absurd range it can reach far has very little whiff recovery and it can also special cancel so it's a, it's a good confirm button if you get a stray hit. A note to keep on it is on counter hit, you are able to count, combo into it. But you have to be fairly close. So you can combo in your stand light kick or your crouch light punch. Now we're going to start talking about his kick buttons, or at least his standing kick buttons. We're going to talk about his stand light kick. It is a 5 frame normal that is special, cancel, special cancelable. And it is minus 2 on block. On hit, it's plus three, but it has a very absurd reach. It, it can reach very far, and it doesn't have a whole lot of whiff recovery on it. His stand medium kick, he uh, basically swaps the legs. He starts kicking with his right leg. Uh, he reaches a lot further with it, though, and he kind of does like a, a lunge. It is an eight frame normal that is plus three on hit, so you can't really, or plus one on hit. So you can't really combo off of anything off a straight hit. Um, it's not special cancelable on, uh, but it is drive rush cancelable. 
so you're able to go into something like that. Um, it is a good move to use at like the end of pressure strings because it puts you at a further enough distance where you have to start training pokes again and then you could uh, whiff punish or anticipate a button with his medium kick. His heavy kick is a 12 frame normal that is plus 2 on block and is plus 7 on hit. Even though it seems like it's a high hitting move, it can hit crouching opponents. It does have difficult hit, difficulty hitting on crouching opponents though. So I wouldn't use it as an initiator. It is actually a pretty good anti-air. Not a really uh, good close range anti-air, but like if they're mid distance and they're not completely over your head, it is a good button to use. Um, he can get stuffed out of it sometimes if you're really close to him, but if they're about mid screen or a little further than that, it's probably one of your best anti-airs to use. A good thing to note is since it is plus seven on hit, he is actually able to confirm into his crouch medium punch because it is a seven frame normal. His crouch light punch, this is gonna be your best friend for getting you out of really sticky situations. It's a four frame normal that is minus one on hit or uh, on block, I mean. And um, it's just gonna be your best friend. You're, anything that you think has a gap, Anytime your opponent is minus, this will be your best friend to mash to steal your turn away. It is probably one of your best light confirms because it can uh, link into any of the other lights um, I'm going to talk about or I've already talked about. It can. Um, it's a good confirm button, nonetheless. His crouch light kick, this is your 6 frame normal. Um, it has a decent range. It is minus two on block and it can't be special canceled, but you can go into um, other light normals to get a special cancel out of it. It's a good poke. Nonetheless, it's, um, it's a good way to uh, end pressure or to check your opponent's footsie, you know, little toesies if they haven't been blocking them. His crouch medium kick, this is a nine frame normal that is minus three on block. Um, it cannot be special canceled out of, so it's gonna be mainly used for a poke or to check your opponent to see if they're blocking their feet. It's very similar to his stand medium punch, but he lunges very far and it's kind of hard to hit him as he kind of does like this weird crouch. His crouch heavy kick. This is a universal for every character in the game. It's their sweep. His is 10 frames. Um, fairly quick. It has a decent range. And it forces a hard knockdown. Now a hard knockdown in the simplest terms is where your opponent is on the ground for a set amount of time. And that's where you can put the scariest mix-ups at hand. Because basically whatever you throw at them, they practically have to eat. The only thing that can get them out of the situation is doing an invincible wake up option crouch medium punch this is his seven frame normal it is minus two on block it is special cancelable and it is a fairly good poke that reaches a uh, fairly far and it, um it's really good to get straight hits and confirm off of it crouching heavy punch this is his nine frame normal it is minus six on block and if you can't tell it has very stubby range you have to be really close for it but its purpose is to serve as an anti-air it is one of his best anti-airs close range down forward heavy punch now this is his 16 frame sweep uh it's very similar to his other one it forces a hard knockdown but unlike his sweep, it is minus 14 on block. So just, just use a sweep. Forward heavy kick. Now this is an 11 frame startup move. He does sort of a lunge. And it forces, it makes your opponent go airborne. So you're able to um, extend with um, any specials. On If you get the first hit of it, it is minus 5. While both hits makes it minus 1. Similar to his stand heavy kick, it is actually a good anti-air for opponents that are further away, um, where your crouch heavy punch would have trouble um, 
hitting it. Now it's good to, to get uh, dry brush cancels off of, as well as canceling into maybe any special move that you can. Uh, problem with it is it does uh, have a consistency problem where it'll whiff or you'll get a punish counter because they might be a little too high. So use at your own risk. We're going to be talking about his target combos and he has one with back medium punch. Back medium punch is normally an 8 frame normal and actually has a good amount of reach. Um, he does kind of like this circle with his move. Um, if you get a stray hit, you can finish it with back, me uh, back medium punch into medium punch, and it could be special canceled. Um, another thing with it is, you, if you get one hit of back medium punch, you're actually able to uh, combo into uh, other buttons. I think it's plus five on hit, so you're able to do his four frame as well as his uh, stand light kick, his five frame. We're going to be talking about his heavy kick and heavy punch. Uh, target combo now they share amount the same amount of frame data of if you do the first hit It's gonna be stand heavy kick and the second hit is gonna be a similar to uh, his heavy punch now the difference is heavy punch is actually plus one at the end of the combo string Now he has two set versions of this with heavy punch or heavy kick heavy punch heavy punch Which is an overhead and heavy kick uh, Heavy punch heavy kick, which is a low. They're both minus four and it's just a good mix-up tool if your opponent is really eager to press something. Now, as mentioned before, heavy kick is not special cancelable, but if you are able to do heavy kick and a heavy punch, you can actually confirm into a special as well as drive rush cancel. Quarter circle forward punches. Now, this is going to be your main ender for any confirms that you have. It is probably one of your best buttons to do. Um, each version is extremely different with the light being your fastest version, your medium um, being your best damage uh, for a normal confirm, and the heavy being really slow but really helpful in certain situations where maybe you can string it out off a punish counter or a counter hit or um, and pressure since it is actually plus on block. It is plus 8. A great thing for it is the light and medium versions. If you were to get a uh, knockdown, it would be good if you want to be a pressure JP to run in there and do a little mix up. He has an EX version, which can combo into certain medium buttons. I think the only one that I remember it can combo off of consistently is his back medium punch. It is a back medium punch target combo. That's his best uh, confirm. The EX version, similar to the heavy one, um, causes a wall bounce. It's not as high. So there isn't really as much as you can do with the EX version, but it is going to be a good um, tool to use if you want extra damage. Quarter circle back punches. Now, the light version will be the one closest to you. The heavy one will be the uh, furthest from you, while the medium will be completely in between. Now, once you set it up, it has a set timer where it will detonate. Now, um, it's kind of something that your opponent will have to respect as... You, there's several things that you can do out of it. You can uh, do quarter circle back, light, or medium punch, which will cause a teleport to wherever you are you are placed. And you're actually able to press any of your kick buttons or your jump buttons outside of the, um, the teleportation. Now, there is another version where if you do quarter circle back heavy punches, it will you can instantly detonate it. And um, it forces your opponent to either... Guess between you teleporting through it or going to send a spike right through. Now, if you are teleporting through it a lot and your opponent realizes it, they could hit you out of it. So doing it too much can um, punish you in the end. And he has the EX version, or the OD version, I'll call it. Um, it spawns two portals depending on the punches that you do, either light or uh, heavy. Medium or heavy, it'll place them wherever on the screen. It is his main gimmick, as it is just the whole reason you want to get a knockdown is set your opponent up to deal with this shenanigans. Quarter circle back kicks. Um, this is just a command grab. Quarter circle forward kicks. Now, with each version of this, they all do something different. The light version will cause a soft knockdown, while the medium and the heavy versions will leave him standing 
Now, with the difference between those two is the uh, the medium version will do an overhead swipe, while the heavy version will do a low swipe. So they had to block standing or low, uh, depending on which version that you throw out. Now, um, this is going to like be his main um, projectile that he'll be using if he has a portal set up, and your opponent will kind of have to guess between whether the low or the overhead or just the regular one. The thing with this is if they get a perfect jump, they can avoid both of them entirely. So using this with an end mix of your other specials will um, make it really hard for your opponent to uh, deal with it. Now, up close, your opponent, um, if you are able to do the medium or the heavy version, they are plus six on hit. So you're actually able to combo into any of your faster normal strings to get a uh, confirm off of it. The EX version will do two hits instead of one. So it could keep them in place. Um, the only time you can combo this thing is in the corner. Normally, if you try to get it mid-screen, it's really hard to combo into it. Um, but other than that, it's probably one of your best keep-out tools. Down, down, punches. Now, similar to the portal, each version that you do, the light, the medium, and the heavy, it depends on the distance. So, light being closest, medium being the middle, heavy being the furthest. The X version is very much the same. Light and medium will be both closest light and heavy will be in between and medium and heavy will be the farthest this is going to be one of your other keep out tools they'll be using with the ghoul the, the little projectile with your portals to keep your opponent out this is going to be like his main gimmick if you want to kind of succeed with him is just to keep your opponent out with all these um, buttons down down kicks now this is a parry that he's actually able to do frame one I think the uh, OD version of it is frame one. While uh, the rest of his parry, it's basically if they hit you at any point, he will step back and create a bomb. And if your opponent hits you, um, while you have the little pink glow, uh, they are stuck with this bomb. The X version creates two, and it can create a nasty situation in the corner, as well as just anywhere on the screen, because your opponent has to respect it. You can grab after it, um, in the corner and get a confirm, but it's a, it's a dumb move. Use it. Now we're going to be talking about um, his cancels for DI. Now, all moves that I'm incorporating can either be special cancel or cannot be special cancel out of. He has his crouch light punch, his stand light kick, his medium kick, his crouch medium punch, his heavy punch, his heavy kick, heavy punch, start a uh, target combo. The first hit of um, back medium punch as well as uh, the second hit of it as well forward heavy kick and um, I think that's all that he can do um, each versions of this um, any hit that you get after it is actually as plus as a punish counter on any move that you do so if you know the frames are your punish counter um, it will be the same as out of DI. So if you get a hit and then DI right after and hit into it, it's as plus as it would be if you got a punish counter. Um, DI is a very special thing where you can get a turn a little confirm into a full combo and make it obscenely disgusting. If you are able to get a light confirm off of it into, um, like let's say you do stand light kick into DI cancel or crouch light punch, the fastest that you can get on normal hit is a six frame normal so that's the best thing you can do well on a uh, counter hit i think it's um eight frames and on punish counter it is going to be 10. on normal hit of medium buttons like your uh, crouching um your crouching medium punch or your stand medium kick it's gonna be up to nine frames on normal hit 11 on counter and on punish counter do anything and the heavy versions can do any i think any version except themselves they can't do any 12 frames unless it's counter hit counter hit and above they can do any button on normal hit it's only plus 11 after you do a di cancel one thing that i'd like to note is on normal counter and punish counter hit the hit after di always stays the same now i thought i should leave uh, some combos and some confirms that i've learned throughout all of it um i'll post my notes and everything that i have at the end of the video just uh so everyone that wants to know um the deeper dive that i did um you can do as well with just the uh the settings with the um 
the uh, frame data settings on. But um, I appreciate everyone watching and um, letting me teach you, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll leave notations on screen, um, just so if anyone's like learning or um, whatever, it would be in my best interest to uh, help you out as much as I can. And you made it to the end of the video. All I want to say is I appreciate everyone watching and then let me be um, kind of a lead to everyone. Um, I will be posting more. I have some videos coming up with more Street Fighter content as well as we started a realm in Minecraft. So I'll probably be posting more of that stuff too. Um, I'll be posting my notes here to uh, everyone that wants to um, take more steps into it. Um, all I got to say is a thank you. I really miss the world. If you enjoy the content that I make, please consider subscribing, liking, and uh, sharing. Other than that, uh, I will see everyone in the next video. Thank you.